Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be talking accommodation and transportation in Auckland. So our transportation system in Auckland is called AT, stands for Auckland Transport. So when you just come here in Auckland, the first thing you have to do is get an AT Hop card. Grab your student ID, go to any AT centre. It's usually around the main bus stations or Brodermatt in the city. So after that, if you have your student ID, apply for a tertiary concession. It's called a tertiary concession. You can get a student priced ticket, which will be cheaper than the adult price. So after that, you can start taking buses and trains and ferries because this is Auckland, we have the sea around us. Starting with the bus fees, we divide the fees by the zones. So one zone, two zone, three zone and four zones. If you have your student concession applied already, it will cost you $1.55 for one zone and $2.70 if you take two zones and $3.80 if you take three zones, so on and so on. I'll link down the AT link below so you can check it out. Auckland transport system is pretty convenient, I'd say, if you take the buses or the trains to the city centre, but if you take those small or not so important route, it will be not so convenient. It's gonna be a long wait. It will take us around 30 minutes and the bus stops are not everywhere. If you live in a rural area, you might have to walk a long way to take the bus to get to wherever you want to go. So yeah, this is our bus system. The buses are pretty comfortable. How do you take the bus? So when you see the bus coming, firstly wave to the driver, then they will stop. Otherwise they won't stop. Secondly, when you get on the bus, remember to tag your card to the little machine. Before you get off, remember before one stop, press the button, the bus stopping button so the driver will know if yes, this person wants to go off so they will stop at the station you want to get off by. Otherwise, they wouldn't stop. When you want to leave the bus, you take off and at the same time, a little bit before, after that, you say thank you to the driver. This is kind of a little norm. I like to say that and a lot of people like to say that as well. I picked up this habit ever since I come to Auckland. Accommodation. There are three types. Flatting, rental and university halls. Starting with flatting. It will be from $150 to $250 per week because we use weekly rental fees or flatting fees here in New Zealand. When you flat, you flat with another mate or several other mates. You guys share the same areas, for example, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the living room, but you do get your private room. Do not worry about that. If you flat in the city center, it will be a little bit expensive than if you flat in the areas further away from Auckland, such as East Auckland or North Shore. For the flatting option, some of them, they include water, electricity and Wi-Fi, but some of them, they don't. We normally use Trade Me here or the Facebook page. And the Facebook page is pretty useful because the landlord, they just post their houses, their flats online and you can just take it or find a flatmate there. And I'll put them down below in the link. Trade me and the Facebook page. Second option, rental. The price will range from $200 to $350 per week. When you rent, you get your private bathroom and private kitchen and private living room and of course your private bedroom. 
This is, of course, a little bit expensive than flatting, but you do have more privacy and if you like the quiet environment, if you need a quiet space for studying, if you don't like the noisy city center, the atmosphere, I'd recommend you take the rental option. When you rent, of course, you have to cook for yourself. Meals are not included. Electricity, Wi-Fi, the water are included. And if you want to rent, you can also use Trade Me. Just click on the link down below. The third option is University Halls. I go to the University of Auckland. That's the university I'm familiar with. So I'm going to use Auckland University as an example. The price will range from $380 to $400 per week. And this is fully catered, which means meals are included. Furniture are included, water, Wi-Fi, electricity are included as well, which is pretty awesome and it's convenient. You can just walk to the uni, but it is a little bit expensive. So whichever you want to choose, it will depend on you. Here I'll put down a link below that is the official University of Auckland accommodation page. You can check it out for more details. Okay guys, hopefully today's video is helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will be sure to answer every single one of your questions. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!